Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute crisscross style birthday card. It's really easy and fun to make, but it's a nice alternative to the basic traditional folded card. Um, the card itself pulls out like a tab, and it fits into this crisscross pocket style envelope. So to get started, we need two pieces of cardstock. Get my trimmer. Each piece needs to be 4 inches by 12 inches. Next, you're going to want to score these. And you want to score both pieces at 6 inches. And then you just want to fold them over and you want to make sure that all your edges line up really well. And then give it a good crease. Now you want to take each piece and you're going to want to cut a diagonal across to make the crisscross. So what you want to do is line the two corners up on your trimmer. And just take your time and line them up really well. See, this is going to make our crisscross shape. So, on the second piece, we're going to do the same thing but on the other side. Then, we're going to adhere the two rectangular pieces together and that will be the base of our card. You want to make sure that you get your adhesive as close to the edges as possible. Then just line the edge And I'm going to go ahead and adhere my liner on the inside of the card, so it'll be a little bit easier to do. I have a piece of designer paper, and this is cut down by a quarter of an inch on the inside. So this one is cut at five and three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters of an inch. Next, you're going to fold down um, the next side. It's going to be the side for us. We just want to put a little bit of adhesive right on the edge. Next, we're going to line the flaps. And to do this, we're going to take two pieces of cardstock. They're also cut down by a quarter of an inch, so again it's five and three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters of an inch. We're going to take our trimmer, and again we're going to put it on the two corners right here, and trim it down. See, that'll fit right there.
And next we're going to lay the second flap down. And I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive right on the side. my second piece of cardstock that's going to fit in this triangle and I'm going to do it the same way that I did the first one. So here's the base of your card, and you can leave it as simple as you like, but I like to decorate it a little bit more. So I have a strip of the same purple cardstock. This is cut at um, 6 inches by 1.5 and inches, and I'm going to use a border punch. This is my Fiskars Apron Lace Punch. Just got this last week, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So we're just going to line it up in the center best I can. And punch. And then I just flip it around and do the same to the other side. And then I'm going to apply this right in the center. Now I have a smaller strip of designer paper, and this is cut at 6 inches by half an inch. So I'm just going to adhere that down as well. Now, to make the card itself, um, I have a piece of purple designer paper, and this is cut at five and three quarters of an inch by three and a half inches. I have a piece of white cardstock. It's cut down by a quarter on each side, so it's five and a half inches by three and a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to adhere that. And then on the back, I'm going to adhere another piece of designer cardstock that's cut at the same size. And finally, I have a small piece of cardstock. It is cut at one and a half inches by one and a half inches. 
and I'm going to score it right in the middle. And this is going to make our little tab for a card. So I'm just going to fold this over and apply some adhesive on the inside. Then I'm going to place my card kind of halfway in and then just fold it over and adhere it. And that is finished. So now I can decorate the outside of my pocket here. I have a little cupcake that I cut from the Cricut American Alphabet cartridge. It's cut at 3 inches. And I'm just going to put this together using some ATG. I like using this uh, polka dot paper for the icing because the polka dots kind of look like sprinkles. Now I'm just going to apply some foam to the back of this. And I'm actually going to use my ATG tape to adhere it down. And then I'm going to line it up so that the foam doesn't overhang the pocket. Finally, I'm going to use a puffy sticker from the Momenta Mini Puffy Sticker Birthday Wishes, and this is also popped up on foam, just to give it some extra dimension. And there you go, a really cute and simple crisscross birthday card. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.